one. That's me. Glory house. So as you can tell, I'm painting. Almost got that pulled off right. <laughs> Not too much, too, too little. And this is funny because uh, that roller right there was from last year. I never cleaned it. Before you say, oh, why'd you even clean it? But I put it in a bag when I was working on the other windows because it was the same brush I was using. And I left it in the garage, even through the negative weather and everything else, and it was fine. No problems with it, rolls on everything nice, takes paint, the whole nine yards is just like as if I just used it. It's awesome. So if you ever have to do that, just take your rollers, put them in a Ziploc bag, get as much air out of them as you can, and then uh, put them in a cool dark place, or just in a dark place, so light doesn't get to it and start curing the paint. That's, that's awesome. So you're not having to go through like tons of rollers and stuff. Anyway, as you can tell I'm painting, painting the woodwork for the rim joist. Some of it looks better than others. I know it kind of has a purplish tinge to it right now. When it fully dries, it gets really dark. It's the same, same color as what we used on the windows. On that one. So it cures really pretty dark when it when it goes off all the way. And even from here it looks pretty dark. It's just when you get really close to it, it has that purple tinge when you uh when it's fresh and when it's wet. This is a Menards color. I uh don't trust the one coat and you're done stuff which is what I have here. I do two layers or two coats of primer, which is an oil-based primer, that stuff. And then I do two or three coat, two to three coats on the, on the black, depending on how well it, it works. Looks like I'll probably have to just do two coats on this because this is all fresh wood anyways, it's like brand new wood. If it was an older stuff, then I have one more step I have to do and that's a, uh, I use a, a liquid mixture to put on the wood to rejuvenate the wood, to refresh it, to give it more moisture. Otherwise, when you're rolling the paint on, it'll just suck the moisture right out of the paint, and uh, you'll never get a good coat. But I'll show you that more. It's turpentine and, uh, oh, I forget the other chemical. It goes into it, needs to 50-50 mix. Learned that in the old house fix on uh, Facebook. But this house looks immaculate. He sat it, I think, there for, what was it, five or six years, and there's no fading to the paint. There's not even a single problem with the paint. Anyway, back to it. So, I'll have pictures up on the Facebook page of all the different, uh, sorry for the bouncing, all the different uh, pictures I've taken throughout the process. What it looked like primed, what it looked like painted, but without the bottom part. This part down here, the shelf, and everything done. But I'm using the Pittsburgh Paramount, Paramount paint. And if you're interested in the color, but like I said, it goes on. It darkens up quite a bit. What I do when I buy paint, I try to time my projects out. So if I know I'm gonna be doing painting in the next, say, three or four months, I'll wait and look at the ads on, uh, on Menards. And every four to six weeks they have a sale on paint. So I'll pick up a can of paint at that point, And then that way I, I have the color I want may require me to mix it up, just ask for another stir stick, they'll give you two or three. And you can just do that. And this stuff tends to roll on pretty nice. It's not perfect, but it, it, it works for, for household exterior paint. Now you'll see the little dashes there. That's in the wood. I probably should have sanded it. That's alright. It's fine. 
but I'm also where I can get to it I'll 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 move stuff later and I'll prime and paint there and I'm also going to stick a a uh, ice and water shield on top so I'll probably caulk, caulk this joint and then I'll ice and water shield it and wrap it a little bit on the front you'll never see it and a, a little bit in the back so it's like encapsulated that way plus it seals if you put nails through it and stuff that way it really reduces the chance of water getting down in this joint right here and rotting everything out on both sides without you knowing it but anyway there it is short video but really it's Excuse me. It's it's well worth it to, to prep like this. Doing this, the, the paint job's going to last a lot longer without any degradation. If you just do one coat, you're going to be re re having to repaint every five years. doesn't matter what paint you use. Especially on the side of the house, which gets the most beating, which is this side of the house. <laughs> yeah. This side of the house gets the crap beat out of it. You can tell just by the woodwork. It beat off all the paint. They didn't when they painted this, they didn't do the primer and then do the paint. I think they even used interior paint. The painter did. And it's just a horrible job. He didn't mask anything. Just uh. That yellow I did paint really quickly because I needed to get a board up there because it's trim. And I'll get all these painted here this summer, I think. This window, that window, the upper windows, the side of the house in general. So watch for that. No, I'm not painting this yet because I got to replace it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please rate, comment, subscribe.